as we conclude our tour in Tanzania, we are quite excited again to be seeing a beautiful crop of the Tembo variety SC719. So we want to hear from Rosa, the agronomist, the chief agronomist, while the farmer is in the field showing that he is really hands on. Over to you, Rosa. My name is Rosaria Sebastian Mburi. I'm, I'm champion agronomist at Yurukwa. We are at Matanga village and here this is the seed co 719. Thank you very much. Dear farmer, my name is Epiu Singanila. I'm a regional agronomist for this region. So today we are in Matanga, in Matanga village. So and the farm that you see here, uh, the variety planted is SC719. Uh, what I would like to insist uh, all farmer, uh, in order to increase the yield, you should follow the following. Number one, make sure that you plant uh, the crop in a, in, in, a, in, in, in a right spacing. The space between one line to another line should be 75 centimeter. And the spacing between one plant to another plant should be... Dear farmer, my name is Yepiu Singanila. I'm a regional agronomist for this region. So, uh, today we are in Matanga village with our farmers. We are looking a uh, very beautiful farm, uh, so I would like to insist, uh, in order to increase the yield, the farmers should follow the following. Number one, make sure that you plant your crop in the right spacing. The interrow should be 70, uh, 75 centimeter and also the row should be 30 centimeter. Number two, make sure that your field is very clean as what you see in this farm. So you are supposed to clean the field in order to avoid the competition between the desirable crop, which is maize and weed. Number three, make sure that you apply fertilizer three times. You apply a basil, you apply first top, as well as second top. Number three, make sure that you control the insects. Uh, make sure that you control the, the insects so as uh, to, to allow the crop to be, to be free. Uh, on growing as well as it will give up we see a very good yield. Together we can say that Sidico is the home of Bamba Harvest. So I would like to say thank you to everyone for tuning in as we were sharing these rich insights from Tanzania and at this point it's only left for me to say Asante Sana. <laughs>